So, hello and welcome for another session of Transport Fever 2. And today we are going to play as the arch enemy, which of course is France. Wondrous things are happening. Here and there, inventive minds are tinkering with very strange devices. So are going to buy a the airline. Nothing less than to defy gravity. Among the leaders in the race to conquer the skies is the Grande Nation that we call France. At any rate, the venerable Montgolfier hot air balloon was invented here. So oh, let's see what we are going to do. Get that information. Which year is it? Maybe not something like 1870s. But yeah, no. Different plans around so it. Probably somewhere after 1904. We at least have about 10 years of peace. <clears throat> The time is ripe for great deeds. You have a knack for technical things. And you've just inherited a small transport company. But why stay stuck to the ground? <laughs> Several experiments with new types of flying machines have already succeeded. Soon, the first airplane is going to glide across the skies. Make sure this honor goes to France. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the brothers Wyatt have to say about this. Louis Blériot, a man with a remarkable disposition and an equally remarkable moustache, has a project. He wants to construct history's first functioning airplane. His car lamp factory brings in the small change he needs for this venture, but only if he's able to sell enough car lamps. Help him out. Make sure that your friend's factory runs well, so that he can invest the profits in developing his highly promising flying machine. So we have a steel factory which is just pumping out steel. Mm. Yeah. Why not? Where do we have to transfer the machines? Why is the only... Do they only need champagne to live? Crazy French people. Sorry, if you didn't get the clue, I'm of course German, so... Forgive me for all the... <laughs> All the spontaneous racism and stuff which is happening here. And shoot, I really like the French people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go more. Oh, let's go with that. <laughs> to a station. Extends. Uh, 
I really don't like the track too. <laughs> As in the previous games, yeah. How could you build such an enormous bridge there? But he needs to paint for some reason, yeah. Using a Prussian locomotive for this train. Somebody will want all our champagne. This would have worked much better with trucks, but yeah. I guess. And to leave a little bit of space so that we could still add a passenger station there, just in case we need it.
Red, red. Stop. <clears throat> This is steel output will just rise and rise. No matter what we do, so should we give it as like a second train or something? Well, probably not yet, but later maybe. You did line there to chip the champagne to breweries, of course, <coughs> which is probably much more important <coughs> than any champagne, champagne anywhere. Yes, what I would imagine in the French. Yes.
whole economy of the world is working on champagne. That's so crazy. Oh, those pesky French people. What have they been up to? Bring champagne to the boots. Oh, I forgot what the uh, special missions had been here. Yeah. Nothing important, right? Wouldn't have been. Probably turn out that somebody was wise enough to make it absolutely impossible to use boats here. Yeah, well, we just have to lift them the other way around. Oh, there are no passenger boats. Fantastic. Did I build a passenger station before? Sound of the factory. Thanks to your support, Mr. Blerry has managed to design a prototype. But even so, he doesn't seem to put all his faith in the contraption yet, and has asked you to give the first flight test a try. I haven't I done this? In 10, 11 million minus? I got all oh, around minus doing some prob some profit here. Yeah. No bonus tasks yet. It's like that. <laughs> but Paris needs champagne. feeling except for the landing a little more elegance would be nice your friend will keep working on that the French Aero Club wants to purchase the prototype or what's left of it oh. 
over yonder, on the other side of the Atlantic, the Wright brothers have already made several successful flights before you, allegedly. In the near future, you want to demonstrate your skill in Le Mans. Show those Yankees who the real captains of the clouds are. Help to design an even better airplane, so that you can show the Americans who the skies really belong to. The Motor Drive, the brainchild of a decidedly eccentric Italian motorcycle manufacturer, could stand a few more modifications. Bring the necessary parts to Mr. Blerio's workshop. See, wasn't it wise? The, the buildings for The shops is something which is telling me about those shops here. Something which is really not. It's really not to my liking or wrong. The running costs of the No idea why transporting alcohol could maybe be a bad idea. Eh? My whole economy is working just on that. Yeah. Okay. 
here or from transporting that fine, fine beverage. Hmm. There are still sober people down in Le Mans, and I heard there's something to do with driving, so you have to bring some champagne to them. They're going around it. Should have checked out where they need the stuff. I was confused where to find that. It's so convenient, everything here. Yeah. I should get myself. I should get myself a beer, I guess. Just for sake of the. get a locomotive which can go as fast as the cars can't go as fast. Strange bull, 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 yeah. <laughs> so all that zooming around is hopefully not making you giving you nausea or something. Just asking. So don't guess it. I guess it's not going becoming better. Some champagne to London. London needs champagne as well. Need to go with a couple of cars. It's all. It's really too convenient here with all the building. That was the wrong thing to do. To this, to destroy here. That's the one good to destroy.
think now that everybody is boost up good, we can... Austrian's workshop, oh, I guess he needs something later on. <coughs> it's strange if not, given the nature of these games. Speed up a little bit, my friend. The time has come. You're about to pit yourself against the Americans. All kinds of folks are curious and set on watching this spectacle. The jewel of the Louvre, the Mona Lisa, has been stolen. The trail leads to a group of artists. They're supposed to have built the paint false alarm. The artists claim that they adored the Mona Lisa. In fact, the search for the guilty party should head in the vicinity of the Italian patriots near Dover. They're dead set on bringing the painting home to Italy. The Italian patriots don't want to have anything to do with this. Incidentally, one of them recently saw a figure at night near the Louvre. Whoever it was, it's something inside their coat and rushed aboard the train to Le Mans. Ha! Huh. It was a craftsman employed at the museum who stole. <coughs> we found the Mona Lisa here. Which is, of course, important for some. much money guys Jaka still sixty say
That's a me, okay. I really don't like the style of how rotating buildings works in transport fever games in general. I wish that. Like, I don't do this with the mouse wheel or something, or combination, or like control mouse wheel or something. Might be much more convenient for most people, I guess. We have a, I really like tram lines in general. <laughs> Probably because my hometown has, hometown has so many of them. She look quite a look like these here. Line tree needs a little boost. And it boosts.
Proper white hand traffic this time around. Thanks for hinting that out to me. Yeah. This is what I learned from the English channel and transport fever one. When you when you put signals uh, like about a train length. Yes along from each other and then you can have like as many trains as you want on S2 lines which is probably not too far from reality actually it's a Double clicking, I don't know why.
What all my champagne lines are making are making losses. This is not exact acceptable, I guess. Okay, we transport more champagne. Okay, I've been longer with the train, I guess.
Somehow the music is really getting onto me, onto my nerves. Probably due to it being somehow almost French, which is of course the arch enemies, nemesis. Okay. the British away network as well. Everyone is eagerly awaiting the event. Show that you can do more with Americans and fly a particularly daring route. <clears throat> now only two outfits available. Yeah. This one. Oh, that's, that's what I'm providing. So this is Privy Station. Your airplane marks out the most elegant curves imaginable. The Yankees are bursting with envy, and the customers are already lining up. <laughs> Where is the plane at? Following the success in the mall, the greatest venture in the history of aviation now lies ahead. The leap across the English Channel. Time is short. Your rival, Hubert Latham, is ready and waiting. But your friend Blerio is going to beat him to it. He's currently developing a new model, specially designed for this challenge. The aircraft's fuselage needs to be lighter and more aerodynamic. This calls for specially produced wooden parts. Your fiercest rival, Hubert Latham, is closer on your heels than you thought. It would take a miracle for you to beat him across the English Channel. But miracles do happen again and again. If need be, you've got to lend them a helping hand. Hmm. 
Oops, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense any whatever. Hubert Latham has set out on a practice flight in his spare plane. Meanwhile, the model he wants to use to venture leaping across the English Channel stands unguarded in the hangar. A good opportunity to make a few modifications to the competition's airplane. Mm -hmm. Latham has set out to fly across the channel ahead of you. Whether he had enough training or felt confident due to your attempts at sabotage that failed, he's the only one to know. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here with all the trains complaining. Does be loading ahead here? No freaking idea. No freaking idea why nothing will work then. Quite strange. Huh? Without a profit, but... Hey, what's the problem with me? Something. So why are they on line fifteen? Uh, one. Nice. Why are you all on line fifteen? Uh, something. Something horrible went wrong. Um. Yeah, did it, this. This explained. So somehow I reassigned all my vehicles to line 15. However, that hard happened. Despite it not being possible to happen.
So did anything of that kind ever happen to you while playing Transport Titan? Uh, yeah, forgive me for. And we, we failed with the bonus tasks because I sabotaged the plan at the wrong time, which we wouldn't probably have needed at all because. Uh, is there a plan workshop? There it is. What did line 15 make? 5 million <laughs> negative because all the trains were stuck there, yeah. So that should not happen. So we are signing all you. Oh, wait, there's something wrong with that train. Transportation and force collapsed because one bunk conductor assigned all trains on the same line. Yeah, that's 
what happens when you mix transportation with loose basically There. So now, how, how will we afford to give the British uh, the transport network with all those? Oh, we can borrow money if we want, if we need to. Oh, still losing quite a lot. Yeah, stupid, stupid. That's what happens when you mix booze and business. So also all the stuff <laughs> stored at the train stations got lost, I guess. Where do we need to fill food now? What a fabulous flying machine. Now you ought to rustle up more fuel so that the plane doesn't run out of juice halfway across. We could have built the station bigger. So this is annoying because we can't. It's difficult to extend that station. So we'll just build another one. Probably borrow a little, couple of million bucks. Hmm. Yeah. Don't think those collisions are ding in, in transport fever. But yeah. Oh, those habits from playing while Wildwood Railwood Tycoon don't die easily. to pay interest rates. Yes, yeah, so Paris really did us need the most champagne. To build a friends, friends, French expressway here, like the second line where the ball would go straight through without too many stops in the middle.
So that's one way to uh, to deal with your overflowing cargo. Which it's bustling population of one thousand of four hundred forty nine people. Everything has been taken care of. The weather looks good. But regrettably, poor Mr. Blerio broke both arms during the preparations. Now you're supposed to have the honor to carry out the maiden flight across the channel. So well, those lines are all working. The profit. Mm. Every <laughs> I haven't seen this. So every basically every of my line is is just that one is not doing any profit. <laughs> So I haven't seen so usually I feel like like some loss somewhere along the along the lines. So, uh, I shrink it down a little bit. Make it faster and cheaper. Oh, this I haven't seen. Every line is working. It's having profits. Profit galore. even and there's the, the transport network running well, from up here it looks almost nice 33 kilometers per hour So the champagne transported 180. Is that a bit fast for a Blariot? I must imagine that plane would have been a bit. A bit slower overall. The cost for the airports are probably what's it's drowning me here. Thank you. 
Good to have Quabbers and Perries. Oh, can we be modest to tell my wife for that? You're the pride of the nation. Except that your friend is taking it badly that the honor of crossing the channel wasn't given to him. From now on, he's going to keep his hands off flying and stick to designing aircraft. Because they're a hot item now. Why does this look like a really scaggly farm? The champagne industry is hosting a big flight contest. The point is, flying and champagne have a lot in common. Both are a team of experience and the perfect match for... Monsieur Daniel, an aviation enthusiast from the petroleum industry, is tinkering with a new blend of fuels. Help me by providing your services. He'll return the favor by filling up your tank. Austrian swashbuckler is pursuing an audacious plan to fly without an airplane. The self-styled Batman wants to design a flight suit and use it to jump. The Austrian needs fine, pliable types of wood for his bat suit. Obtain the desired material. Here, so
most delicious. The contraption that the Batman intends to fly with doesn't look very airworthy. Protect him from himself. I know why we are thinking about something else in the champagne transport business. <laughs> Absolutely. That makes so much sense. Does it? Yeah. Of course it does. Good man is three shots to the wind and gone. He's already climbing up the tower. He's got cautions to make his life a good one. I don't think that turns out. It's a close shave again, but nothing serious. The Batman is more or less in one piece and already staggering off to design a new suit. In reality, that didn't turn out so well, I guess. If I remember correctly. That was the guy who tied out his, his home parachute on the Eiffel Tower. Build up once more. Okay. 
grand flight starts. The organizing committee needs help with the preparations. A grandstand needs to be built for the guests. As for the beverages, no one should be left high and dry. Hmm. Hmm. Das muss so los. Yeah, so this mission is really easy because the, the economy is not really working in a way that it has any requirements and yeah, it's, it's quite strange. Um, because everything is just keep work, is keeping to work and There's no real anything happening, I was saying.
It's uh, it's really drawing out here in the end. Got stuff those very pesky requirements. And that line too. Like, this is a distance where railway does not work in the game. It's to be done by a rear truck. This is our game to be economical. And shipping lines always have like this... Uh, this downturn and upturn. I think this is probably not so far from reality as... That's it. Okay. Transport about a whole lot of goods at one at once a higher risk and Hmm, I'll really get less crabby here. Despite us making millions of profits every year. We're off. Guests from all over Europe want to marvel at your flying skills. Even the president is here. Show the audience your stuff and win first prize in a long distance race.
What a pain. You're that close to winning when an American forces you out in the race for a cup. The Baroness LaRoche is obsessed with flying and eager to buy your airplane. An English publisher, a certain Lord Rawnsley, organizes a flying contest from London to Paris. He wants to use it to prove that no one else is a match for England in the air. But you're going to turn the tables on him. Your friend is delighted by your daring proposal and willing to entrust you with a plane from his latest series if you assist him during production. Various interested parties want to place a large order with your friend Blerio. Newly established flight training schools are showing interest. The same goes for flamboyant thrill seekers and, of course, the military. Which order should your friend... Mr. Blerio has decided to not only manufacture training airplanes, he's going to open his own flight training school too. Give the bold aspiring pilots their first flight lessons.
Mr. Blario was able to design the ideal airplane for the London to Paris race. A large number of magnificent men with their flying machines from all over Europe waits for the starting line. Show them which nation truly masters aviation. Everyone. Long live the grand. <laughs> and we didn't even have to destroy it. So yeah, that went quite well. Just the one extra mission. It's sabotage. Yeah, every time you press the button, you are more likely to fail. Hmm. So, I'm quite satisfied, yeah, but it was really easy mission because um, basically the industry has no change whatsoever. Um, everything keeps growing without, yeah, there, there's no real economy going on because uh, like the full revenues put out stuff at full pace. So, I think most of the profit came from, from transporting champagne and food, so, yeah. The, the money is just pouring in. As far as I remember, this is a general problem with transport here. Once you have built up a working transport chain, nothing can go wrong. So, look now. The headquarters even looks almost interesting. 
Yeah, so like, why can't they change the text here? But in the cutscenes they have like English text in France, France, and uh, the Orient and everywhere. It's a bit sad. So it's like like that would have not been something you need really invest stuff if you have technology already here. To give it a different name thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So really nothing magical going on there. Which just produces, no matter if you transport it, does not do not transport or if it is meh. Just going too, e too easy, clearly. Maybe I did something special, but I guess not. No. Just money is pouring in. Yeah. And it's like, like, yeah, we have the real estate value here, but yeah, it's not real value because we cannot sell it, we can just give a small it, which costs more money, yeah. I don't know. Transport fever. That's it, guys. See you summer next week. Weekend. So, Mr. Paris, I do gaming on the weekends, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.